What's up, Herd? Today, I'd like to show you how low whale money flow is into the market, but how that is a great sign for a rebound coming up soon. So let's get on into it. Let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been coming down from its uh, recent high at 71,000, has come down all the way under 65,000 and is holding support right at about 65 right now. But let's look at this whale money flow, guys. It has come all the way down uh, to where it was in about February or even late January of this year before we pumped the market massively. So I am expecting a rebound here, guys. The last time we were this close to this low was back in uh, May before we had this rebound here as well. So anytime we have a uh, low whale money flow, it is time to look for a rebound. This price versus whale money flow chart comes from a uh, group called Trade Confident that I've been using for the last couple of years and their indicators have been super accurate guys. So do look for a jump here. Let's get on into Ethereum. Now Ethereum did have a win with the SEC yesterday guys. They have abandoned their lawsuit with the Ethereum Foundation and have found it to not be a security. This means many of the alts will not be classified as securities either. Now we could see some variants depending on how things were launched for them. But in general, this is really good news for the alt market, especially for Ethereum. Getting back to the charts here, Ethereum's whale money flow actually isn't quite as low as Bitcoin's, but I think because of this news that we got from the SEC plus the uh, ETF news as well, I, think, I don't think whale money flow is gonna come quite far as down with Ethereum. Let's move on into BNB. BNB has gotten below its support level, guys, and is but is sitting right at about uh, 595 today. As well, money flow has come out of the market on BNB as well. It's possible that well money flow could come a little bit lower before we see a rebound here, but I am expecting a rebound soon. I don't think it'll go much below 570 unless we get some sort of wick that uh, drags the market down. Solana is in the same boat, guys. It has. Uh, uh, gone below its support level at this point, but it is holding right around 137 right now. Um, whale money flow is super low here. I do expect a rebound here very soon. Now let's get on into the elephant money ecosystem. Elephant has been holding over the last couple days at the bottom of that accumulation zone that I mentioned the other day. Let's get on into Trunk. Trunk came down a little bit over the last couple days, but is making a little bit of a rebound today, up two and a half percent this morning. Now let's get more into the ecosystem, guys. I do wanna mention that the Savannah House uh, vote for legal representation has passed, so that's good for the ecosystem, guys. And then let's get on into Solend. We have made it up to the third largest market in Solend at this point, um, with just about two and a half weeks under our belt. That is incredible performance for this ecosystem, guys. We have a total supply of uh, 5.3 million between USDC and Trunk and a total borrow right now of 1.3 million as well. Utilization is currently pretty high right now. So you are making 81% APR on uh, USDC supply. So take advantage of that if you're a USDC supplier, guys. Borrow side is a little bit high at 120%. I think with supply being very well utilized, guys, the uh, market is expecting Trunk to jump. Otherwise, I'd expect that borrow to be a little bit lower. So I do expect some upside for Trunk soon. I've mentioned over and over that this level between 50 cents and 80 cents is a big turbulence zone for the Trunk token. But I do think with the market making vote of adding $4 million to the Solana side of things is keeping the floor at 50 cents at this point. And I'm very glad to see it as we've made some serious progress coming from all the way down from about 5 cents earlier this year. The playbook right now is to DCA trunk and right now is a great time to get into it. The ecosystem is firing on all cylinders right now, guys. We've had some great votes in Savannah House giving the opportunity for BT to market make on the Solana side of things. And over on the BNB side, guys, the futures accounts are eating up trunk and BTC. We have almost $4 million worth of trunk tokens in the trunk turbine and $761,000 in the BTC turbine. With that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to our Telegram channel where you can get all of the current updates. BT, our founder and dev, is in that chat on the regular, guys, giving us the alpha and setting up the place for us. So make sure to join us over there. Have a great day and God bless.